Hey everyone, it's Nons and it's been a long time because I had my tonsils removed two months ago and I've actually been waiting for them to heal and they've healed as far as the scar tissue and everything but my voice sounds so weird and um, it's hard to pronounce some words still. I don't know if this is normal uh, or if I have to go back to the doctor and figure out what the heck is going on with the, my throat. So if I sound a little weird it's because um, my throat didn't heal right or it's just not done healing but I would think after two months it is but anyway I wanted to do a favorites video because I don't think I ever did one ever on my channel I know I did products that sucked but never favorites and I have a lot of favorites I had to cut them in like half how much I have because you know I do have products that I use all the time so first I want to say oh my gosh I know I sound so horrible I could hear myself but anyway um, I don't have a favorite foundation. Uh, there's never really enough coverage because I have bad acne. I never enough coverage, never the right color. So I don't have like a foundation or a favorite um, concealer or actually even a favorite powder. Nothing really yet. I've been trying a million things and I wind up doing a combination of a lot of stuff. So that's going to be out. It's going to be eyeshadow and all that other stuff. So first I'll start off with... Um, I guess eyebrow pencil and the eyebrow pencil I use is NYX Auto Eyebrow Pencil and this color is just E P O for brown and it looks like this you can see that it's just a brown a real light brown color which I thought because of my red hair it wouldn't work but it actually works really good it, I think the colors work good together and it comes with a little brush I really never use that so the first thing I do is like draw my eyebrows in just what I have. I have, you know, enough eyebrow, but there's little gaps and stuff. So I fill that in with this. And I actually set it with, if I could find it, um, NYX Mosaic Powder. So I go in with the pencil on my eyebrows and then I use this and this Mosaic Powder is Latte. And I go in with like these three colors. I just use a brush and go in with th these three colors. And just go over my eyebrow to set the pencil. And um, this right here is my favorite contour. I use this all the time. It's like my fourth or fifth one. And like I said, it's in latte and I contour all the time with this. And I, like I said, I powder the, the eyebrows with it. Um, so I really, really love this. Next I'll go in with a, a blush color that I've really been loving and I'm not really into blush that much but this Smashbox um, blush color in Peony, I really really like it because it's not too much and it really just brings a natural um, flush to my face so I really really like that. Uh, I'm going to move on to lipsticks, well not even lipsticks, I don't have a favorite lipstick, I have favorite lipstick colors. But how they wear on my lips really drive me crazy. There's a lot that um, my lips have too much natural pigment too for them to even show. But the ones that I really like wind up just not staying on my lips. So I don't have a favorite lipstick at all. I have lipstick colors like I said but no favorite lipstick. I have favorite lip glosses. Now the lip glosses I like is because I can put them on without lipstick and they show up. So... A few of those are the LA Color, and this is LA Girl, LA Girl, this is like Platinum, oh my god I can't say the word because of my throat, Platinum Collection, and this one is pl Blazing Violet, and this is why I have my lips now, and then I have like in the middle a little bit of this color in, what is this color, Bubblegum and that's just like a bubblegum pink. I love these and these are affordable and they also smell good and they don't annoy me with the smell. Another one is the NYX um, Mega Shine Lip Gloss. All these, I have a bunch of these colors. I have like 12 of them. And all these, I have great pigmentation to them. This one is called African Queen. And what you see is what you get with these. And this one is French Kiss. Then another pigmented lip gloss that I like wearing alone. These are the ones that I like wearing alone without lipstick. 
is Milani's Hot Flash. Um, and this is in what is this color? In a flash. That's a really pretty color. Next, I'll move on to mascara. Now, with mascara, I layer the hell out of my mascara, especially when I'm not wearing false lashes. And I hardly wear false lashes. I can't say the words false. But false, oh my god, false lashes. So when I'm not wearing them, when I'm going with my natural lashes, I actually like this Stella Forever Your Curl. And this is, uh, I guess it's just black. And it looks like this. This mascara, this is just like a sample size, but this mascara isn't good for length or anything like that. It's just good because it's nice and black and it's really small. So you can get into um, real far up in your lash and the bottom lashes, the wand, wand is really small. So this is sort of like a base. This is like I'll put on because I cover all my lashes and they're just black. And then for a curl, I really like NYX Doll Eye Mascara. And all these are like black, extreme black. But NYX Doll Eye and Mascara. So it, it's the one looks like this. I really like this mascara. That gives you a nice curl. And so I'll use the Stella. Stella's first, NYX second. And then either I'll use um, Essence Multi Action Floats Last it. <laughs> oh, I sound like so stupid. Multi action false lashes, and um, this I'll either use for the last one, which is drugstore, no one looks like that, or I'll go in with Tarte's lights, camera, lashes, and that just looks like this. So I use like three mascaras when I don't have when I just have my normal lashes, natural lashes. Um, what I've been liking lately, I hate falsies because every time I put them on, they feel way down. The only thing I like is like the corner ones that are, um, like these, and these are Ardell Accent Lashes and they're just the corner ones. I wear those, I could wear these and not really feel them. What I like now is what I have on now and I, if you could see them, I don't know, but they're a little longer and they're the Ardell Demi, 120 Demi. I don't have them in here. I have them on because they're longer and they're wider at the end. So you still get that effect of the wing, but it comes in more. So the half lashes, it's a little harder to make them seem real. And with these, it's like you have the half lashes, but they just come in a little tiny bit more. And they don't feel like anything. Like I could wear these all day and not be annoyed. And that's also because I used to always use a duo glue. The duo glue has latex in it. And I'm the type of person that sometimes I'm allergic to latex. Sometimes a lot. I'm not. But when I put it on my eyes. I have my eyes with water constantly. And my eyes water all the time anyway. But this, when I had the duo glue on they always did. And I never could keep with lashes on. I got the Revlon precision lash, lash ad, adhesive and this comes with a brush so this um, is a lot easier to put on the lashes it drives me crazy because it's clumpy like right here it gets real clumpy but you hardly even need drying time with this it's like you put it on the lash put a thin layer on the lash and you put it on and I don't like the way it dries it dries a little bit um it doesn't dry clear all the way so you do have to go over it with black and it, that drives me crazy a little bit because with the duo it does dry clear but I want to find the black one with this you do not want to just go ahead and rip your lashes off because your real lashes are going to come off with this glue this glue is strong at least for my lashes I can't even go in with a makeup wipe and sort of loosen it up and take it off. No. It pulls at your lashes, which is, you know, it keeps them on all day. But I have to go in with like this Milani Instant Makeup Remover and actually go in with a um, cotton pad and I soak it on my lid for about a minute and then it will come up without ripping out any lashes. So this is really, really strong. The my eyelash curler I like is the Inglot one and it just looks like this and you open it and you close it. This was like three, four dollars, real cheap. 
So I like this because it's not, um, it doesn't pull my lashes. So that's the eyelash curler I use. What else? What else? Eyeliners. So my favorite pencil eyeliner is the Perversion, Urban Decay Perversion. Um, and it's just black. It's just a black color. And it's real, real creamy. It's darker than zero. It's really, really dark. Comparable to that, which I really, really love too, is Avon Super Shock um, Gel Liner. And this is in black. They're, um, let's see. They need to be sharpened, but... I'll compare the two colors. So they're really um, close in comparison. The top one is the Avon Super Shock, and the bottom one is Urban Decay Perversion. Avon Super Shock you can't find in America. From Avon, you gotta I get it on eBay, but I got it for nine dollars. The Perversion is like twenty, so I rather go with Super Shock. They do the exact same job. Um, they stay on. They're creamy, so I really, really like both of these. Like, I can't favorite one of them because they're both my favorite. With liquid liner, I like the L'Oreal Paris Carbon Black, and then this is L'Oreal Paris Telescopic. And this just comes with, I hate this. I hate the, um, the, uh, what do you want to call this? Wand, I guess. Because it's, it's, it's like a little... It's not even a brush, it's almost, it's a combination of a felt tip and a brush. I'd rather just have a brush, it's easier for me, I don't like felt tip. So it's a little stiff, and I like being able to just line it across with a regular brush. But I still like this because it stays on, and it's the only liquid liner that stays on my lids, and I've tried a bunch. I used to love MYCs, but they changed their formula, and it's crappy, so this is the best one for me. Like I said, I have really, really watery eyes, so... I need something that's going to stick. Um, for cream eyeliners, I love the Tarte um, Emphasize, Eyes, and this is just black. And as you can see, I used a bunch of it. And I actually got like a, a backup for this. And it's, it's like $20 for it. And I like them both. They both stay. But I found one at Drugstore, which is L'Oreal. Um, this is L'Oreal. <coughs> infallible black is black and that looks like this and this is um wonderful it's creamy it goes on i think it's actually darker than the tart one i even though i have the back of the heart and i love the tart i've been picking this up every day i am been using it and um it just looks the top looks like this so this is half the price if so I'm going to stick with this unless they change the formula. But I really, really love this and I do not like drugstore um, cream liners usually besides Wet n Wild. But Wet n Wild is a little bit harder to put on, but it's still wonderful. But if you want something more creamier, if you have trouble with stuff, this is wonderful. Next. I'm going to say the LA Splash um, Eyeshadow Cellar Base. Like I said, I always use this, and I think I'm like this, there's this much, and it lasts a long time. So um, I use this for glitter, like I have on my eyes now. I use it for the glitter. I use it um, if I want to turn a like, pigment into a liner, so I can use this for that. I just use it for a lot of things, and I only trust this with glitter. I don't trust anything else holding the glitter on. Because you know I'm scared of glitter still. Next is this Lorac 3D Luster. And this is, um, what color is this? I'm blind. Eclat Liquid 3D. I don't know. That sounds so gross. It just says 3D Liquid Luster. And it's the golden color. But it looks sort of white. But once you dab it on, it's like gold sparkles. It's wonderful. It is like, like think I'm going to hurry up and go into um, glitter, which I've just been trying for the last two or three weeks, the Lick Glitter. And I have three of them. And just in general, I feel like Lick Glitters are good quality. I don't know if you can see this color. But this is like um, multiple colors. And this is called Seeing Stars. And this actually the number three. I thought 
that number three sort of scared me because I'm like, it's going to be chunky glitter, but it's not. It's really, really nice, comfortable glitter. I don't like their glitter base because I feel like it does put the glitter on, but the glitter moves around throughout the day, so it doesn't actually stay like this. We'll keep it there. It stays there. It doesn't move around. It doesn't go in your eye. When I tried their base, it went in my eye. Maybe I did it wrong. Maybe I gotta try to use it more. But I still would prefer LA Splash over that. But I really, really like their glitter glitters. Um, I love this loose eyeshadow trio from Sugar Pill, and this is Chrome Loss. And the colors here are Royal Sugar, which is blue. I'm not gonna take them out. Decora, and then Lumi at the end. Um, these were like thirty dollars. I got these from. Beautylish, Beautylish with the lick ones. Those are the only things I ever, <coughs> oh my god, the only thing I ever paid full price for. All my other makeup, I always get like 40 50% off. I could never catch Sugar Pill when I have money when they have a sale. So I just decided to go ahead and get a few things. And Lick, Lick really never had so sale where I catch it. So I got three glitters from there. Those are the only things I ever bought full price with my makeup. But they were worth it. I think it was a splurge, but I'm having fun with the colors. The palettes that I reach for the most is my Urban Decay Vice palette that looks like this. And that black color in there, what is it called? Oh my gosh, I don't know. It's called Blackout. It's the best black. And then I also reach for my BH Cosmetic 15 color palette. And like I so said, that's all that looks like this. I can't even talk because I gotta hurry up. And the inside looks like this. These are the colors I choose. You can choose any colors you want to. This black hair, I mentioned it before, is a good black for a couple of dollars. And that's like the second best black I have. I like the Urban Decay better, but this one is really, really close. So, I know I have more favorites, but I see my memory running out. And I don't want to make this too long. It's probably half hour long anyway. I just wanted to um, say hi to everybody. I've been away. I'm going to try to come back and do more videos. Um, life has just been really still real, real rough. But I'm working on it. I'm working on myself. And yeah, hope to see you guys soon. And I have an Instagram, so you guys follow me on Instagram. I just got it recently. I'll link it below with my Facebook, my Twitter. And I'm going to be trying to post more pictures, at least on Instagram, if anything. So if you follow me, and then let me know so I can follow you too. Alright you guys, that's it. Sorry if I sound... Oh wait, just real quick. This thing I got off eBay. This holds cotton pegs. See the cotton pegs at the bottom that you pull them out? This is so cute. I have a picture of it on Instagram. Um, and it costs, I forgot, like a couple of dollars. Probably like six something, seven. But it's so cute where you take the cotton heads out, you just put them at the top here. And it's plastic, but I just love the look of it. Whoops. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.